Good evening, everybody, uh, from the Rhineland region of Germany. I am um, going to try and um, recreate uh, using some of the same colors. Um, I, I've added a few uh, to the painting that I did that I named Tapestry and Lace. Um, I'm using two ounce cups for each of the colors with the exception of the uh, ivory. And I'm using the ivory like, you know, a lot of people will use the regular white or the black for uh, uh, like the, the, uh, the base color. So I have got all of my colors with the exception of one. I was going to show you how I mixed them. Um, I didn't want you to have to go through all of them because there are quite a few here. Um, but I'll show you on this. It is one part paint to one part uh, medium. It's a medium that I have uh, created with Floetrol, acrylic binder, PVA glue, and uh, water. So um, that's what I've got with this. And we're going to just mix it here. Uh, everybody has their own medium that they like to use. Some of the mediums are not, pouring mediums are not available to me here in Germany. Some that are tend to be really expensive. So I've kind of had to create something that is not going to be as expensive that I can get a hold of uh, that isn't going to take, you know, several weeks to get in. So you want to make sure that you're mixing your paint and your medium really, really well. Uh, you don't want to have the streaks or anything like that in there because then your paint is going to dry and crack funny. It is not going to flow smoothly. Okay. I don't know whether you can see this or not. It is just a speck on the thick side for me. Um, for what I like to have. Um, so what I'm going to do is add just a little bit of water. Just a little bit. You, um, It's better to keep adding the water instead of adding a whole bunch and then it's too runny and you end up losing that particular color because it, it, it will mix with the others. And you're not going to be happy with it. Oh, that's good. Okay. As you can see, it's just like warm honey. That's what I've heard it being described as warm honey or like pancake batter. Um, so there we go. All right. And then um, I was asked how much uh, silicone I use. Um, when I use silicone, I put probably just one or two drops, depending on what I decide to do, how much paint I'm using today, um, because this is what I used with the other painting. I'm using the L'Oreal um, Smooth Intense uh, Frizz Taming Serum. Um, to do a whole pump in there would be enough for this cup, so I just do a, a slight just enough to get a, a drop in there. And then, I stir it in. You wanna stir it in fairly well, only because it is a high concentration of the dimethicone, which is a, um, a um, cosmetic silicone. Uh, don't be, you know, worried about whether or not you're going to get the small cells or the large cells, um, because as this sits, it's going to do its own thing depending on your paint, uh, the uh, the medium, everything. Um, I guess that's what kind of makes this really cool in the fact that you know we really don't know exactly how everything's going to go. Oh, uh, I'm gonna. Start out at the bottom. It's just kind of a catalyst uh, to um, help all the other colors just do what they're supposed to do. 
And what I uh, do, because I've got all these colors and I've got all of them um, set up, is I'm just kind of kind of go in a zigzag and um, go uh, half the cup in, in a half of the two ounce cup into this cup and then the other half into this cup. And it's just however it goes in. I mean, there is no rhyme or reason to it. It's, I guess, the dirty cup pour. Um, I get those confused at times. <laughs> so I've, I've done one of the reds. We're going to do one of the turquoises. And then go back to the reds. And I use several different shades of red and several different shades of the turquoise because I am, when it does, uh, the paints fine, you know, do come together, I like adding that little bit of dimension that sometimes a regular pour will miss, kind of helps to aid it just a little bit. Leastwise in my pores, um, I am still really new to this. Uh, this is an aubergine color. No, this this is the Bordeaux color. This is the Bordeaux color. I like the word aubergine. And I will list the colors that I used and the companies that they come from. Uh, there are several companies that I like using their paints, um, but it may be harder for those that are in the States or other countries to get a hold of because they are German paints. If you can get a hold of them, I know they're going to probably be expensive, but I tell you, they're really, really nice paints as far as uh, working with pouring This that I'm putting in right now is the Thalo Turquoise. Somebody had asked what Thalo Turquoise, um, the company. I get that from the Dollar Rowney Company. Uh, it is their phase, or not phase. Um, oh, what is it? Um, their System 3. There we go. I like working with their, uh, that particular brand. Um, they've got a lot of really nice paints, and they're really, really, really pretty. And then I have three metallics that I work with um, on this particular one. This is a teal metallic from the Blick Company. Uh, I like using it. It, it kind of brings that uh, that teal and that, that uh, turquoise color out. And then I use a pearl black instead of a flat black because again it just adds a little bit and then gold and I put the gold with the black here because in that way it kind of outlines it a little bit I you know whether it's actually doing that or whether it's just something that ends up happening uh, by accident, um, which, you know, a lot of this pouring, it seems like, oh, well, it, it's just by accident. This happened. Okay, and then I'm going to take, and this is ivory. I'm going to kind of top these off a little. Set 
this off to the side. Um, because there is quite a bit of paint in these cups, I don't worry about trying to balance it and flipping the whole thing over, what have you. I just go on ahead. I've got a canvas board. Um, when I quit using canvas boards, um, I just use this one and just slide it right off of there. And then just because, you know, it, there's a little bit of paint sometimes on there that, you know, I can go in ahead and use. Um, then what is left in the cup here, I'm going ahead and get the rest of this out of here. Alrighty, now we are ready to go. I'm going to let this sit for a minute, not too long because I'll run out of video. Um, but you let it sit, you know, for a minute so that everything kind of has a chance to settle down. And um, it, it's just it, it's just a, a flip. I mean, it de um, depending on, you know, how large your canvas is, how many cups you have, or what have you, depends on how you uh, flip the cup. I just kind of, you know, however. And then... Just kind of scatter it around a little bit. Let me flip that over. Because what I will do with the leftover is make skins out of it to make the jewelry. So, okay, so now we've got all of our paint sitting out here. Um, part of the key to getting some of the larger cells is going on ahead and adding some heat beforehand, before we start moving everything around, and bringing some of that silicone, or in this case dimethicone, to the surface. Ahead of time. Then that way when we start moving this around, it's going to stretch those cells out and really make a nice size. Alrighty. So we just kind of look at this here. Okay, how do we want to do this? How do we want to move everything? So I'm going to start moving everything over here to start off with. And I have plenty of paint on this so that it moves. If you don't have enough paint, it's not going to flow. You're not going to have the movement and you won't be happy with it. Now, did that first movement around. I'm going to bring this around here. I'm going to go on ahead and take my gloves off. Now, um, I've got another set over here just in case. Um, I'm going to kind of take a look at it a little bit. It's like, okay, you know, we might be able to get some lacing in with all of this. Who knows? We can keep our fingers crossed. I go around on the sides first to kind of set how things kind of go. It's just my little way of doing things. Um, you all have your own way of, you know, 
doing your pours. This is just kind of what I what I do. Looks like we are going to have some lacing. Oh, good. That, that, that makes me happy, seeing that lacing, oh. I did not put any silicone in the ivory. The, um, I did all the other colors, but not the ivory. I like to be able to have that ivory do, or the white, uh, do this lacing. I think it adds a little bit. You can put the silicone, dimethicone, whatever you use, Rain-X, uh, in no colors, all colors, two, four, whatever you're using. It is entirely up to you, the artist, on what you want to do. It's going to turn out beautiful no matter what. Okay, give that a rest for a minute. I'm going to grab my other set of gloves here and kind of look at this. Go, okay, let's see, what do we want to do? Is there any particular part that we can just go on ahead and dump off of the side? Uh, let's see, we've got some really nice size cells over here, as you can see. Um, hmm... Y'all probably do something a little bit different than I would. <laughs> Let's go on ahead. And I know that this is going to dump some of this lacing off here. But let's see what we've got. Let's see if we can move some of this from the top here over. Let's move it just a bit. I don't know whether all of this is going to make sense to you or not. Um, I hope it does. Um, feel free to ask questions. Feel free to ask um, some more of the, um, the experts in this. Um, if I don't have the answers, they will definitely have the answers. Like I said, I am still kind of learning all of this. Move a little bit. Okay. All right, let's go through and torch it again. You don't have to use the heat on here. Um, if you have a heat gun, you can use a heat gun. You don't have to. Um, I do because I like seeing that lacing come out when I get an opportunity to. Um, you definitely don't want to leave the torch in one spot for long. We're not trying to cook our paint because it will burn it. Um, you just want to heat that paint up so that the silicone will rise to the surface. This, the lacing didn't quite do like what the other painting did, but there's still some lacing on there, and each painting will do its own thing, which is what I love about this particular medium, is it will. It will do its own, and it has its own little charm and beauty each painting. All right. And there we go. Um, that is it. Um, if you have, again, any questions, please feel free to ask. And um, we'll see you soon.